going on? It's your soldier knows best here, and I'm doing a demonstration of VMware Fusion 2.0. Now, VMware Fusion is a program that allows you to run Mac OS X Leopard and Windows XP at the same time. Now, it's not like Boot Camp. Um, Boot Camp, you have to restart your computer in either one. Um, this one, you can have both of them run at the same time and do whatever you need to do and actually be able to multitask a lot faster. Now, this uh, program... Uh, turns Windows XP into a virtual machine. Now for those of you out there who don't know what a virtual machine is, a virtual machine is a, uh, a sandbox. It's an own dedicated space or the area so your operating system, so let's say Windows XP, can run in that sandbox by itself and not affect anything else on your computer and not affect your network. So a lot of businesses, a lot of corporations actually use this for their employees so you know the employees won't download any viruses or something like that and it won't affect the network at all. So a virtual machine is good for that. So I'm glad that VMware Fusion decided it to bring this down to the consumer market a few years ago. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do a tour of it and let you um, go ahead and see some of the things for itself and launch it here. Now, when you first launch VMware Fusion 2.0, you take it to your virtual machine library. Um, I just have two virtual machines at the moment, Windows XP and Ubuntu 8.0. 10 and I have those two uh, virtual machines. I set them up myself. My Windows XP virtual machine is actually running off my boot camp partition. So I didn't have to install a specific virtual machine for it. Uh, uh, VMware Fusion was smart enough to recognize that and once I launched my virtual machine it just used my boot camp partition. So that's nice. And then Ubuntu I just downloaded that as an ISO file and I'll do another video showing you how to actually install that um, on your Mac. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and launch Windows XP here. So all I got to do is press this play button. And it'll go ahead and start launching just like you've been seeing this for some years now. And it will start. All right, there it goes. So I'll let you go ahead and watch that in real time here. But I'll go ahead and start talking about some of the settings and that you can adjust. Um, this uh, VMware Fusion 2.0 has multi-core um, processor support. So let's say right now I just have a dual-core Intel Core 2 dual processor. Um, so I have one core dedicated to my Windows XP virtual machine and I have one core dedicated to Mac OS X Leopard. So if you have an 8 core or a quad core Mac Pro, something like that, you can have two, four, or six processors dedicated to either one of your choosing. Um, you can do the same thing with the RAM. I just have two gigs installed on my MacBook Pro at the minute, uh, but I have 512, 512 megabytes. Don't you just love that sound in the morning? Uh, not really, um, but I have 512 megabytes to my RAM dedicated to my virtual machine. So 1.5 gigs of the rest of it is still working with Mac OS X Leopard. Um, other things you can, um, printers, uh, USB devices are all recognized. You don't have to download the drivers again for your virtual machines. They just use it. Um, it just transfers them over. So any printer you got hooked up to your computer, once you press the print button in Windows XP on your virtual machine, it will automatically print. Um, and that goes with USB devices, uh, like the built-in Apple EyeSight, the, uh, my external hard drive I have hooked up to it, my infrared receiver, and my Bluetooth is all recognized in my Windows XP virtual machine. Um, so that's good. And it has other things you can, you can configure at your whim there. So it's pretty nice. But I go ahead and get out the settings and go ahead and take you a tour of the um, the virtual machine itself in the VMware Fusion. All right, so you go ahead and click into the um, the virtual machine here, then your mouse automatically just transfer over to it. So let me read this little message in. Your computer might be at risk. Antivirus software might not be installed. Click this balloon to fix this problem. <sighs> Windows. All right. Um, well, the good thing about it, that brings it to a good point, though. Uh, VMware Fusion, it comes with a free 12-month subscription to McAfee Antivirus. Because if you are running Windows, you want to be protected against any viruses, even though any viruses are not going to really affect my rest of my system, and I'm not really doing anything in Windows besides playing games. Um, it's still it's still good to have some antivirus software installed. Um, anyway, um, let me go here and show you some of the things. So, like I say, it runs natively just like you would... Um, if you boot it up straight from boot camp, and I'll go ahead and switch to full screen for you. But let me get this in its own space. All right. All right. I have it running in full screen here. And so what I can do is go and do, give you a demonstration that um, it works just fine. I have Google Chrome loading up here. Now, Google Chrome is a Windows only um, 
Windows only browser for the moment. Um, so I kind of suck because I do like it, but I couldn't use it in Leopard. But this way allows you to boot right up into it and actually use it. So Wi-Fi, Internet, everything is automatically connected in your virtual machine. Um, so you have there YouTube loaded up and everything. Um, and also I have Far Cry 2. And I got a video coming on how well that plays on my MacBook Pro. Um, but don't expect to get good performance um, in gaming in a virtual machine in VMware Fusion um, or any any virtual machine uh, program out there. Um, it, it does have DirectX 9.0 support, so games like Counter-Strike, Source, and you know those type of games, maybe even Warcraft, um, you can play in it fine, but don't load up Far Cry, definitely don't load up Crisis in this bad boy, because uh, <laughs> I would think it would crash on you. Um, so <laughs> that is one thing here, so let me go ahead and exit out of this full screen. All right. Now, um, VMware Fusion has something called Unity. Now, Unity allows you to, you know, get rid of this screen here, get rid of the the bulk of Windows XP, but still allow you to launch the applications that you have uh, in Mac OS X Leopard. So, uh, I better just give a demonstration of it. So, I go ahead and enter Unity. Now, what they do is it will launch now, just automatically launch Google Chrome because I had it open. But you see the, the big bulk of the your whole Windows XP desktop just disappears and running in the background. And now I just have my applications that I had running kind of like in a glass screen over Mac OS X Leopard. So it looks like it's a native Mac OS X application. And you can actually see here, I did earlier uh, with Google Chrome, I actually added the application to my dock. Um, so it's not a Mac um, application, but I was able to add that lo lo that um, application and its logo to my dock. So for easy launching. Um, so here you can still do the same thing, do whatever you need to. Just like you would in Mac OS X Leopard. So <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's pretty slick. It really is pretty slick. You know, my internet's going real slow today. All right, get out of there. But all right, yeah, it's real slick. It runs at the same time. Um, and let me go ahead and show you the taskbar. You can actually have the taskbar activated while you're in Unity mode. So let me go there and you see my taskbar down there. Let me hide my dock for you to get a better look at it. So now you see I am still in, in, in Leopard. It is still my main operating system here, but I have my taskbar down here and I'm going through it just like it would be on Windows XP itself. So I can go to my My Pictures, my My Documents, everything like that. I can go right into it. Um, let's see here. It's getting a little confused there. Uh oh, all right, there it is. All right, so you can launch Windows Media Player. Um, it is a little, it can be a little slow. Like I said, I only have one gig of RAM uh, dedicated to it. But once I get my four gigs or maybe even my six gigs um, installed on my MacBook Pro, um, it definitely be running a lot faster. Um, so I have Windows XP, not Windows XP, but Windows Media Player loaded up here. And also I can have iMovie. So let me get this at a smaller size for you. So I have iMovie and Windows Media Player going at the same time. Um, so it definitely is good for multitasking. You have If you don't want to buy the multi-hundred dollar version of uh, Microsoft Office for your Mac, just load it up in VMware Fusion and just launch Word by itself. But anyway, this has been a quick demonstration of um, VMware Fusion 2.0. It's available for $80 on their website. You might want to check out Amazon or something like that. Uh, you might find a lower price for it. But it's $80. It's not that bad. It's very affordable. You can have, uh, it has support for up to different 60 different operating systems in it. And um, it's a great, great application. I recommend it for you. Um, now, this, this competitor is Parallels, which does the same thing pretty much, but I think this version 2.0 is a step ahead of it, but even though Parallels is going to be doing a refresh and doing an update to their product here soon, but I like VMware Fusion. Give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and try it out. You can try it out as a trial from, VM, from um, VMware.com and buy it. All right, it's been Soldier Knows Best. Check out my channel, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.